Okay, hey YouTubers out there, how let your girl Cookie Cookster? You didn't know, ask somebody. I want to talk about Centi Morgans in uh, genealogy. I'm in a genealogy group, and Centi Morgans are basically about how much you know. Um, to is to measure genetic distance with the chromosomes to see how far you're apart or how close you are to that relative. Like, for instance, me, uh, my ancestry, my first cousin, which means my dad, his mom, are brothers and sisters. So he's my first cousin. So we have 943 centi Morgans that let you know the distance. Now, a second cousin has 332 centi Morgans. That means if my cousin, my first cousin, has a child, then that child is my second cousin. Most people, most people say it's not, but it is because it's showing up on ancestry. So it is second cousin. Now, when you get into that third cousin, that's when my head gonna split. I don't want stuff to get all over this computer. <laughs> third cousin involves a great great grandparent, some on down there, and then the fourth is so on and so on and so on. I ain't getting that deep because I don't want my head to Okay. Handle what you know. Handle what you know. I ain't getting all deep into that. But anyway, uh, Cindy Morgan's the like for a parent, it's either like 3471 or let me see my chart 3266, 3720 in that range. If you match up with somebody like that and, and they say they're not your parents, best to believe they're making it up because I have a story to tell about that. Uh, on the internet, this. I was on genie.com, G-E-N-I.com. That's a that's a good website. And um, uh, I I saw this question about this girl. But she had uh, how to get about? I can't remember. She emailed me or emailed her. I think she emailed me because she saw something in my family tree and she was asking questions. And I told her I was in a genealogy group. And then she, she said she was trying to find out her mom. I said, Well, you gotta take the genealogy test. I mean, excuse me, ancestry test. And um, see how many Cindy Morgans you got, and then I told him explain that was to the best of my knowledge. Which it's a long list like this, but I ain't got time on it. I'm like straight to it. Boom! Tell me what it is. Be 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 through with. Okay. My definition, Cindy Morgans, is to measure genetic distance along the chromosomes. Sorry about that. Along the chromosomes. So a parent and a child, 3471. Or 32, 66, 37, 20. And this lady kept telling her, no, no, I'm your aunt, I'm your aunt. And she and she was emailing me back. We was emailing each other back and forth. And I said, say this to her. And she said, and then got to the point, I put the heat on her. When she said she had like 3,400, I said, that's your parent. And then in, end up, the lady told the truth, said, yes, I'm not your aunt, I'm your, I'm your mother. So then she thanked, she thanked me for it because... I'm just glad to help her because I'm so glad this, I'm in this genealogy class. I don't know what to do. I mean, you, you learn a lot of stuff. And uh, we helped a lot of people. And one guy, he had came through. Some people come through the genealogy class. Just want to do a little bit. Some people are afraid. But, hey, whatever. They'll come back. One guy. Now, we're here in Alabama. He grew up in Ohio. He and I got a family here. Started a family. But he's from Ohio. So, his son went up to the local college and met this girl. Now, this is a true story. Met this girl. They changed numbers. Then he just happened to say, hey, Dad, I met a girl. And he was telling us about it. He said, he said oh, okay. And the father said, what's her name? He said, so-and-so. The father was like, okay, hmm. He said, okay, Dad. And then he went on to do his, what he got to do. And then he said, uh, well, what, uh, where's she from? You know, he's like, she had something like, wait, 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 didn't know. Oh, she from Souls with that. Okay. And then, like, 10 minutes later, he said, he said, uh, what's her last name? Because <laughs> he know, he know, he grew, he grew up in Ohio, okay? And what you think happened? Okay. That was his half sister. He went back. She said, so and so. Then he said, what's her mama's name? <laughs> they found out Cleveland, Ohio, people. This is a small world. Cleveland, Ohio, that's where 
he grew up at, and he lived in Birmingham, okay, Alabama. Then what happened next? He had to tell his son, "What's her mother name?" He said the mother name, and her last name Sons. Like, why? Why you want to know that? He got suspicious. He dated that girl in high school, okay, and then he came up here and got married, but never told his wife he had a a daughter in Ohio in high school. See, you see how serious this is? Now, what if they would have hooked up and he wouldn't even mention it to his dad? That would have been some messed up stuff. So, we need to tell people, hey, what you got to lose? Just say, just say, I did it. Forgive me. You know what I'm saying? Stop telling these people stories and stuff. These people run around here dating their cousins and all this stuff. This don't make no kind of sense. Just say, hey, this would happen. There's a possibility there's another child out there. Now, them two, what they got together, hooked up. See, that's why when people open their mouth, and you talking to somebody, say, hey, what's your family's last name? Oh, what's your family name? And stuff. You better ask, you better ask somebody, I'm telling you. <laughs> and then another incident happened in our genealogy group. Oh, we have some interesting stories. This girl got married to this guy. But when it was com when it was coming to the wedding thing, it was at the rehearsal. And um her family members knew his family members and his family members knew hers uh like it was vice versa i'm like what and then she said what you doing so so you know what y'all doing here y'all coming um uh uh, uh what y'all doing here questioning them and stuff like that i don't know whatever happened to that they never came back to the genealogy group <laughs> and one more story down in atlanta how atlanta this guy and this girl was married for two years they went to Atlanta to a family reunion how about so and so said somebody said to them hey what you doing here what you what you and your cousin doing down there and they looked at each other like this they didn't say nothing he said you know is it, is it, is it your cousin said yeah you know that's your cousin uh, aunt so and so so and so they was married for two years thank god they didn't have no kids they end up getting divorced so this is the kind of horror stories we be hearing in our genealogy group and this stuff is serious. And I was like, what? Mm-mm-mm-mm. Yeah, yeah, I bet they tell it. Let's see. When you get these DNA tests, people be going to 23andMe. What's that little one? Family tree DNA. My heritage DNA. But ancestry is the best because at least you get to see the people's faces, you know, in the circle. You can tell you who's your first cousin, your second cousin, if they put their face out there. At least you get to see the people. And, so, and write them and ask them questions. They might not write you back, but hey, DNA don't lie. It's right there. DNA don't lie. Right, Tiger? You got Tiger in the back? You like that? That Tiger on fleek. Got that one. I was in the Army. Roll Tide. But I was in the Army, though. Airborne, Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Hey. That was many moons ago, though. Anyway, but um, let me go over some of the Cindy Morgans right quick. Now, I told you about parent, 3471. Siblings, 2600 or 2150 through 3070. Let me get my list right here. A niece and a nephew could be 1744 or 1301 to 2193. I'm just going to do a few. Half siblings, 1753 or 1320 to 2134. Those are rough, rough estimates. A grandchild, 1765, 1271. Through 2365. Uh, let's see what else we got. Da, 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 da. Half niece, half nephew. 864 Cindy Morgans. It could be 540 through 1172. Okay, great niece, nephew. 857, 521 through 1138. When you do that uh, ancestry, look at those Cindy Morgans. The higher the number, the closer the relative. Like I said, the higher the number, the closer the relative. And DNA don't lie. Because I don't see a lot of stories going on. And, uh, yep. Yep. So that let you know right there. Closer the, the higher the Cindy Morgans, the closer you to the relative. Mm hmm. Yep, you want to find your sibling out there, they out there. Yeah, people don't want to tell you. And um, 
The same organs are really for your so confidence level, make you feel confident, you know, that, uh, that, uh, I'm just telling you, that's, that's how it is. Cinti Morgans, people, find out how much Cinti Morgans are. And these people say, by Cinti Morgans, to this person's so and so, you're trying to find your parent, then you got 3471, or 3266. Through 30, 70, 20, that is a parent. They'll probably say that, oh, I'm your uncle, I'm your aunt. Mm -mm. DNA don't lie. We don't found so many people in our genealogy group. We found two siblings. Well, one of my own um, people, my group. We found two siblings and they reunited. One was in Virginia and the other one, I think it was in New York. And um, there was a match to one of my people in, in um on his ancestry tree, and um, the girl had contacted him. Hey, I see we're cousins and stuff like that. Yeah, and then um, he knew about the other guy, but she didn't know about him. They were seven. One was adopted. The other one was kept. That's how they found out. Now they're, they're probably already met each other by now. They, they were supposed to meet this summer. Yep, 2017 this summer, and they probably already met up. So that is cool, you know. You want to know, you wanna know, your, you wanna know your sibling. I mean, you're, if you're in your 30s, your 40s, your 50s, Y'all need to stop hiding this secret and just go and tell these people who their relative is. It don't make no sense. We had something. And another incident, this lady, she didn't know her father at all. So, you know, took the DNA test and all that. Found out her family right down here. Right here. She met she met 30 people in one day. Now, now, you make no sense. Father left one county. Moved to another county and started a whole new family. And she don't know nothing about him. And she thanked me because I helped her. You know what I'm saying? I helped her. So, you know, it don't make no sense. You sit here and make, you got a family here and then you leave and, and you go and leave, go and leave and start a new family. And then and their siblings don't know about each other. And they end up moving to, let's say, I don't know, Virginia. And they end up meeting, hooking up. And they don't even know they, they brothers, sisters, or relatives. Or it don't make no sense. So, that's why I want to talk to you guys about Cinti Morgans. Google it. Look it up. But I'm right straight to the point. I ain't got time for all that. Just tell me what is what. Boom. Oops. There it is. All right. How let your girl cookie. Cookster. And I'll talk about something next time else. All right. I will talk about something else. Mm -hmm. All right. Subscribe. I ain't got no subscribe, y'all. Don't try to help me out. Okay. All right. Bye.